Hello and welcome to 12.4 Notes. Today's lesson is on volume, and volume is the measure of the amount of space inside of a solid figure. Okay, uh, and it's the three dimensional space that is inside of a solid figure. For example, it's the amount of water that can fill an aquarium, or the amount of water that can fill a fish bowl or the amount of air that can fit inside of a room, okay? That kind of thing. Uh, and today, specifically, we're going to be doing the volume of prisms and cylinders, okay? Um, and the formula for the volume of a prism or cylinder is equal to capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base, and H equals the height of the figure. Okay, so please uh, write that down and get caught up. And as usual, you're in total control of this presentation. You can fast forward, rewind, pause it, do as you please. You are in total control of this presentation. Um, so this is the formula for the uh, volume of a prism or cylinder, okay, B times H, and um, capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base, okay. And, um, hold on, let me change colors here. And we have, um, again, this formula is, um, you can basically think of it as chapter 11 multiplied by the height, right? The area of the base is a two-dimensional figure, and we studied areas of two-dimensional figures in chapter 11. Well, you take that two-dimensional area that we studied in chapter 11, and you multiply by the height and you get the volume of the uh, solid object, okay? So uh, let's work on, on an example here, okay? So let's uh, do this one. Find the volume of a square prism that has a base length of 5 feet and a height of 12 feet, okay? So copy down this prompt. Um, and we, ha we can see here that the base is a square, and then the height is... 12 feet. Okay, so the formula again is area of the base, capital B times the height, and again we have a square, and the area of that square is 5 times 5, right, because this is also 5, and we have 5 times 5 then would be the area of this square multiplied by the height, and so multiplying those all out, you get that the volume is 300 cubic feet. So the amount of three-dimensional space that can fit inside of this square prism is 300 cubic feet. Okay? And now, next problem. Find the volume of a right cylinder that is 16 inches high with a diameter of 10 inches. Okay? So please copy down this prompt. And the formula is uh, the same. Its volume is equal to area of the base times height. But the area of this base is a circle, so it's pi r squared, okay? That's where we get the pi r squared from. And then the height is, um, you know, h. So uh, plugging in values, we get pi times 5 squared times 16, because the height, again, is 16. We substitute that in for the h. That's where we get the 16 from. Uh, but where do we get the 5 from? Well, if the diameter is 10, then the radius is going to be half that. So the radius is going to be 5 inches. And that's why we have a radius of 5 inches. That's where we get that from. Okay. Um, so if you take these um, numbers and multiply them out, you get 1,256.64 cubic inches. Okay. Again, that would be the amount of uh, say, water that can fill up this drum, okay, this right cylinder. Um, and that's it. That's the end of the notes. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, it would be my pleasure to help you. Um, so come, you know, contact me at any time, and I would love to help you as best I can. Okay? Bye-bye.